Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HDTV Test here. Despite my explanation in my review of the LG Nano 90 Nanocell LED LCD television, some quarters continue to perpetuate the myth that you need FreeSync Premium to do LFC or low frame rate compensation when using VRR or variable refresh rate. According to them, if you buy a TV without FreeSync Premium, then you wouldn't have LFC or low frame rate compensation and therefore you would get stuttering in low frame rate games, let's say if you're playing a 30 frames per second game. And I think that is totally wrong and I'm going to use this video to try and set out and prove to you why LFC is not exclusive to AMD FreeSync. Now let's first start by explaining what LFC or low frame rate compensation is. I'm going to resort to my trusty Samsung Note 10 Plus to try and illustrate how LFC works. So what VRR is, it is basically a matching of the frame rate of the television or display to the frame rate of the game so that there is no mismatch and therefore it will eliminate any frame drops, stuttering or tearing. So let's say if a game is running at say 57 frames per second or 57 hertz in game, you know, obviously it will fluctuate in game, then the panel will respond by changing its refresh rate to 57 hertz, which means that there won't be any mismatch, there won't be any frame drops. So that is VRR. Now, the thing is that most TVs have a VRR range, or should I say most VRR displays have a VRR range. So let's say the LG C9 or C10, CX OLED televisions, their VRR range is 40 hertz to 120 hertz. So if your game is outputting a frame rate that falls within this VRR range, then it's happy days, you know, basically the frame rate of the television will be synced to the frame rate of the game. But what happens when the frame rate drops below 40 hertz? Then that is where LFC comes in. So what LFC is, is basically a technology to double or even triple the frame such that the frame rate of the game gets into the VRR range. So let's say if we have, if I can erase by area, right? So let's say if we have a game that is being output at 26 hertz, okay? It will be outside the VRR range. It will be lower than the VRR range so according to some people, this will mean that the game will be running at 26 hertz and therefore you will experience stuttering or jerkiness. But that is far from the case because with LFC or low frame rate compensation technology, what the GPU does, and I need to stress that LFC technology is done by the GPU. It is not done by the display or the television. So the GPU let's say on a console or let's say from a PC will be doubling this frame rate. So 26 hertz, if you double it, will be 52 hertz. And then this 52 hertz will fall within the VR range of the C9 or C10. And therefore the VR technology can perform its own syncing to try and match the 52 hertz to the 52 hertz of the panel, giving you a smoother gameplay experience. Now, there is some confusion that, you know, this LFC technology is only exclusive to AMD FreeSync. And I am going to use an LG C10 OLED and also the Xbox One X to prove to you that even HDMI Forum VRR can support LFC even though it is not advertised as such because the function is performed by the GPU and in this case, the GPU of the console, which is the Xbox One X. Stay tuned. So we are currently playing Assassin's Creed Origins from the Xbox One X on this LG C10 OLED TV. And this game runs at 4K at 30Hz or 30 frames per second. It is not a 4K at 60Hz or 60 frames per second game. So I have FreeSync Premium engaged on this LG C10 
And if I can go into the user menu and show you that AMD FreeSync Premium is engaged currently. And if I bring up the secret FreeSync info bar by bashing the green button on the remote control, you can see that FreeSync is active and the frame rate is obviously fluctuating. And you know, if I do some sort of action, you know, maybe you can see it like fluctuating, you know, slightly and stuff. So, right down to maybe even 58 hertz and stuff. So that is FreeSync. And clearly the LFC or low frame rate compensation is basically doubling the 30 frames per second or below it to get within the VRR range of this LG C10, which is 40 to 120 hertz. Now, let's see what happens if we disable FreeSync so that the console and also the TV is communicating only through HDMI forum VRR, which is open standard. So if I, let's say, get into additional settings and disable FreeSync Premium, Okay, so if I can bash the green button again, bring up the info bar, you can see here clearly that it is no longer FreeSync Premium. It is only running the HDMI forum VRR. And you can see here that the frame rate is still running close to 60 hertz. And this means that LFC or low frame rate compensation is still working in HDMI forum VRR, even though FreeSync has been disabled. Basically, this LG C10 or CX OLED TV is communicating with the Microsoft Xbox One X console using HDMI forum VRR, and yet it is still doubling the frame rate to get it within the VRR range of the C10 OLED. And you can see here that, you know, we, I'm getting the same smooth kind of a motion, you know, regardless of whatever I do, I still get the really, really smooth motion and, you know, without any stuttering or tearing, which means that the LFC is actually working. So hopefully this small exercise, this small demonstration proves once and for all that LFC or low frame rate compensation is not exclusive to AMD FreeSync. You genuinely don't need AMD FreeSync for LFC. Most GPUs these days will do that automatically anyway, including from the Xbox One X, including from the upcoming Xbox Series X, and also the Sony PS5 console. So you, C9 owners, can rest easy. You don't need to demand for FreeSync Premium to be added to your set because it does not offer any additional advantages from a next-gen console or just the Xbox One X over HDMI Forum VRR. Hopefully this very short demonstration video has gone some way to show you that LFC technology is not exclusive to AMD FreeSync. You genuinely don't need a FreeSync premium television to benefit from LFC or low frame rate compensation. I think, you know, there is a video from maybe five years ago that has demonstrated that even NVIDIA's G-Sync has some sort of LFC technology, which was better than FreeSync's version at that time. And I will put a link in the YouTube description below. It's from this YouTube channel called PC Perspective. And it was done five years ago, so my mind was blown. But I would like to thank my colleague, Adam Fairclough, also known as Evil Voris Online 2, for his help in trying to put together this video to try and demonstrate to you that LFC or low frame rate compensation is a function that is performed by consoles and the console doesn't care if your TV is FreeSync Premium or HDMI Forum VRR. It can work even over HDMI Forum VRR as I have proven in this video by using Assassin's Creed Origins which runs at 4K at 30 frames per second and also the Xbox One X and also the info bar on the LG C10 which I've demonstrated to you in a previous video on how to access it. So you C9 owners, you can rest easy even though you don't have FreeSync Premium, you can still enjoy low frame rate compensation from all the consoles and also the next-gen consoles. 
And if you'd like to learn more about other things related to HDMI 2.1 and next-gen consoles, I've created a playlist here, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.